It's it's the we're only as strong as our weakest link policy, right? We have to find the most fearful American out there, and then everyone must behave accordingly to make that person feel a little bit better about walking around. It's like, well, that's that's just not how America works. And we did our part. You know, we we wore the mask. We did the national shutdown, which now, I mean, in retrospect, looks deeply problematic as a as a policy choice. And we're we refuse to learn. We're 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 going to do it again. You know, you look at just in New York City, you've got De Blasio saying um, that he thinks we need employers to mandate the COVID COVID vaccine for all of their employees. Meanwhile, he can't even do that at the city level because the unions won't agree. So he can't even manage to make it happen at the city. Okay, but he wants all the employers to do that. The Biden officials are now saying that they expect vulnerable Americans to to get booster shots of the COVID vaccine, which is also questionable about whether they need that. Um, And all it's all boils down to Republicans. Why won't Republicans get the vaccines? Completely ignoring the fact that you've got black and Latino Americans who continue to lag behind whites when it comes to vaccinations. There's there's a hesitancy within the communities. And we're not allowed to talk about that at all. It's all the evil Trump supporters who are ruining the recovery for everyone. Yeah, that, that's exactly right. I mean, the, the part that drives me nuts on sort of a personal level is there were two articles last week that both had to be corrected, both of which were sort of listing the, the Republicans who had switched over the vaccine because there has been sort of this newfound enthusiasm for vaccination among some members of sort of the openly political right. And people were listing me in there. And I was like, well, no, I've been recommending vaccination since literally before COVID existed. I'm you very, have. very I, big on I vaccination. I can back you up on that as a listener to your show. Yeah, exactly. I've been pushing vaccination since the day that this was available. I've been vaccinated. My wife has been vaccinated. My parents have been vaccinated. Um, but the, the assumption from the left is that if something is bad in the country, it must be those evil people who are on the other side of the aisle. It couldn't possibly be people on my own side of the aisle. Or by the way, it couldn't be people who have serious doubts about the institutional credibility of the, of the folks who are talking to them. It's amazing to me to see the Biden administration continue to trot out Anthony Fauci, who's been wrong six mm. ways from Sunday, as the face of the COVID outreach plan. I mean, He has switched on every major topic in this pandemic, from whether schools should be open to whether masks are necessary, to whether after you're vaccinated, you should have masks or not, to, by the way, whether there was American funding for COVID research in Wuhan. He's switched on like all of these particular areas. And yet they're saying that if you have doubts about any of these institutional players, that that's your fault, that that's, that's, that's your problem. It seems like a power game, not like an actual attempt. This is what I'm really noticing. I'm noticing that there's an overt viciousness with the way that people are talking about people on the right who are back, who are unvaccinated that doesn't apply to people on the left. And the overt viciousness is not designed to get those people to vaccinate. It's not designed to get those people mm. to, to make a different risk reward calculation. If you want to convince somebody to actually get vaccinated, what you say is, look, here are the statistical risks to you, risks to you if you're 25 years old, right? Not particularly high. You have a shot like one in a thousand people who get it when you're 25 years old are going to die of COVID. The risks of you getting a serious side effect from the vaccine by all available data are much, much lower than the one in 1,000. So just by risk reward, you probably should get the vaccine, right? Instead of saying that and then saying, look, you're a free individual, you you might regret it if you get sick and you didn't get the vaccine, but that's up to you. Instead of doing that, it's you're a bad person, you're terrible, you don't care about grandma, you don't care about, like none of that is designed to actually elicit a response where people get a vaccine. That is designed to create a dichotomy between the people who are good, the elect, and the people who are not good, the unelect. Mm-hmm. And I'm seeing it wherever I go. I feel like I'm vaccinated too, and I believe in the vaccines, and I hope people get them. But I don't believe in shaming the people who have chosen not to do it. And I'm getting a little uncomfortable with this this division between those who have gotten it and believe in it and those who just feel hesitant about it, as if they're bad people. I mean, the especially those who have had COVID yes. and then refuse to get the vaccine. They have natural immunity. I don't know why we went from accepting that as, you know, the, we, we used to understand that if you had COVID, you didn't need a vaccine. And to switching over to, you still must get the vaccine. And if you don't get the vaccine, you're running around as, you know, sort of this purveyor of a deadly, deadly virus in a reckless, reckless way. It's not true. Yeah, by the way, the data tend to support the notion that natural immunity may be actually much more durable than vaccine-driven immunity. Right? There's some data from Israel that have supported that idea. So listen, I, again, I'm, I'm, I think that a few things can be true at once. One, I think the vaccines work. I think that it is a good idea to get them, particularly if you're above the age of 21 or above the age of 18. I, I don't know about the data between 12 and 18. I just know that the risk of death 12 to 18 is very, very low. I, I also understand that individual human beings are going to make different decisions. I also understand that there was no world in which we went to zero COVID. And if you understand those three things, what you end up with is, Everybody's got to make a decision on their own. Thank God we have these vaccines because the math would be different if we did not, right? If we didn't have the vaccines, then the math becomes slightly different because then probably what we'd be talking about is what we were talking about last summer. Do we tranche people who are less vulnerable back into the workforce more easily? But with the vaccine available, 
you now have the ability to protect yourself. So why are you trying to push somebody else in ways that they are uncomfortable with or they don't want to do into getting the vaccine when, again, that is their call. 